Welcome to Contagious. This is the first in a series of activations to help you share God's goodness with others. These will equip you for a lifestyle to see others transformed by God without you needing to change your own unique personality. If you would like to do this activation again, you will be able to find the video on the website this week. A few years ago when I was still teaching music, one of my students came to class and she was absolutely devastated about some things that were going on at home for her. We talked a little bit and over the weeks we talked some more and I could see that what was happening at home was starting to impact her self-worth and how she was engaging with life in general. So I just started finding myself thinking about her during the week, just thinking about the situation. And so I would just pray for her whenever I had the chance, whenever she came to mind, I would just pray. I actually got the opportunity to tell her one day that I'd been praying for her. Her response really surprised me. She was like, oh, gee, thanks. And that was it, we just kept on with the lesson. I just made a point that every lesson that she came to, I would just encourage her, just feed hope back into her life. One day she rocked up to class and her face was absolutely beaming. Like she had a smile from ear to ear. It was like a different kid walked into the room. And I asked her, what's going on for you? What's, what's the difference here? It turns out that a friend of hers had invited her to a Christian youth group on the Friday night. And when she'd gone, she'd actually met Jesus. I was stoked to hear this. I'd been praying for this. And unbeknownst to me, God had somebody else working on it as well. And so together we got to be a part of what God was doing in her life. And she came to know Him. You know, Matthew 5 verse 14 says, a city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do we light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand where it can give light to the whole household. It goes on to say, therefore let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. We just have to be us. We just have to let who we are shine and people will see Jesus in that. I love praying for people and seeing God move. I love that, that when we pray, God does things. You know, I've been challenged that it's, it's, it's not enough to excuse myself with I'm scared. Sometimes we get scared. Sometimes we think that if I say something, I'll ruin the relationship. If I say something, I'll mess it up. I'll get it wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. And so we don't say anything. But if I love, if I really love my friends and my family, then it will move me. You see, I believe that I'm in their life for a reason. There's a reason that God has put the people around me that He has. And I can pray for them. I'm seeing at the moment a bunch of things happening for the lives of people that I've been praying for. In fact, just this week, actually on Monday, I was praying and just asking God, who is there in my life that I could be praying for that they would come to know you. And a song title came into my head. And I'm like, what does that mean? I could have just dismissed it and gone, well, that's just weird. But I stuck with it and went, do I know somebody with that name? Turns out that I do. And so I wrote their name down on my card and this week I've been praying for them and I found out recently that they've been starting to ask questions. They've been starting to ponder. They've discovered that if you get online, you can actually research some of this stuff out and so they've actually been starting to look into some of the things of God. We're gonna take a moment right now and you've got your little card there on the back of it 
on the front of it, uh, halfway down. (laughs) What we're gonna do is we're gonna take 30 seconds and we're gonna pray. And we're just gonna ask God, God, who is it in my world that I could be praying for? So let's do that now. Grab your pen, grab your whiteboard. Let's pray for 30 seconds. Okay, hand up if you got at least one name. Fantastic. Those of you who didn't, um, I'd like to encourage you when you go home, you can do this exercise again, or why don't you just pray for my people? <laughs> I'd love that. So you've got, your, um, you've got your whiteboard, and when you go home, and pop that on the fridge. Most of us go to the fridge at least once a day. So every time you go to the fridge, why don't you just pray? This is how I'd do it. God, I just pray for Steve that he would come to know you, that he would have an experience of your love. So let's do that now. Why don't you turn to your neighbor and let's just take 30 seconds each to just pray for the people that we wrote down. When we get to 30 seconds, I'll say switch, and the other person can have a turn. Ready? We want to include you guys at home in this. So if you just have those few people on your heart, we're just going to pray for them right now for you. Uh, Thank you, Lord, that for the people that you've placed on our heart and and the people that are watching by video, um, Lord, that they will just have an encounter with you, Jesus, that every day, Lord, as we pray for them, every time we, we, they come to our mind, Lord, that they will just have encounters with you, Jesus. And thank you, Lord, that they're in our life for a reason. And thank you, Lord, that, um, you know, as they go through everyday life, Lord, that they'll just experience your love. In Jesus' name, amen. We're just now going to join with the rest of the congregation back. To it Utah. really is that easy. But what if your friend comes to your house and sees their name on your fridge? You're in the kitchen making them a cup of tea, they go to be helpful grab the milk out of the fridge for you and they're like, "Eh? what's my name doing on your fridge? If you turn the card over about two thirds of the way down, you'll see that we thought of this. And it doesn't have to be weird unless you let it. You can just be normal. You can just say something like, well, you've been on my mind, so I've been praying for you. You don't have to overcomplicate and overexplain it. Most people would be happy to know that you care and that you've been praying for them. So when you go home, pop it on your fridge. Every time you go to the fridge, just say a quick prayer for your person and keep praying.